the media wants to convince you that you cannot like Trump and DeSantis at the same time. They also want to convince Trump of this, by the way. They want you to think that you can't like Trump and that you can't like what he's doing and you can't like DeSantis. And I, I really think that they want him to believe that as well. I'm going to tell you something. I think that Trump's term as president, I don't care what you think about his mean tweets, it's irrelevant. I actually would prefer them. But that was one of the best first terms of any presidency in my lifetime. I mean, he just, he overshadows the Bushes. Lower taxes, stable foreign policy, net exporter of oil. I mean, we were, we were golden pony boy. We were great. So that was very successful. And you can also think that Ron DeSantis is a successful governor. And you, th- you can think that Glenn Youngkin is a successful governor. The media wants you to think that th- these are all, you can't, you can't think these things simultaneously. You have to pick one. Do not play their game. Do not play their game. And I know they want to bait Trump into this. I said one thing last night, and it's all I'm going to say about it. I think he's better than, than going after DeSantis or Yunkin, who I think they're just governing. I don't honestly think that there are. They just got, he just won re-election. If he does have any kind of 2024 aspirations, I think that that's on the back burner as he gets settled into his second term in office. So let's not get the cart ahead of the horse here. Now, there was, uh, he had, because he had published the letter, and he uh, had said something, I, don't, I was looking at Glenn Youngkin, the comment that he said about Glenn Youngkin, and I'm actually on the fence, I don't think that was an actual insult, by the way. I think that Trump was just reminding people or, or talking about his influence. He doesn't have to do that, though. He doesn't need to do any of that. Like I just said, we all lived through that first term. We know that it was successful. He doesn't have to sit here and shore up any territory. He doesn't need to do that. And especially he or any other Republicans, because like, for instance, I've seen because you've had Liz Cheney go after Ron DeSantis. Oh, my gosh, please let me pray that I do not want Trump and Liz Cheney saying the same thing about any governors and Republican governors. You never want to be in this situation where it looks like some like the coach that won the big game is getting hit by a critic. That never goes over well. And the big game is the gubernatorial race and then shift in Florida for Republicans. Everybody needs to be all in right now for Georgia. That's it. It needs to the, everybody needs to be all in. That needs to be the entire focus right now. And I just don't want to see the right descend into this slap fight. I feel also kind of like Trump is being encouraged by some of the people around him. Because some of the folks that I know who were part of his inner circle when he was in D.C. that are not there anymore, they're working other campaigns and doing all this other stuff. I think that he's got, I know that he has some grifters in his orbit. Not because that's, that's the kind of quality of person that he wants. I think they just worm their way in there. And I kind of wonder if it's not at that direction that he's doing some of this stuff. Because this is, it's just uncharacteristic of him. Because it's not a good move strategically. At the, at the, the, most, the, the most important thing he could do, do you realize, and here's why I think that media, here's another reason why media is baiting him and baiting everybody else to get involved in this slap fight. I want you to imagine this. You're going to like this. So just close your eyes for a minute, except if you're on the road. Please do not do that. Just imagine this for a moment. You're looking through a camera shot, and it's a huge stage in the peach state right? Got the American flag up. You got the podium. The band's playing. You have red, white, and blue balloons. Everybody's out. It's ahead of December 6th, that runoff election in Georgia. And up on the stage, walking all together. Now, just think about this for a moment. You got Brian Kemp, governor of Georgia, walking up. Maybe with Glenn Youngkin. Maybe with Ron DeSantis and maybe with the former president, Donald Trump, all on stage together. And then they welcome Herschel Walker on stage. 
right? Can you imagine that as one rally? Oh, my. There's the election. It's done. Bye. It's over. It is over like that. I am not even exaggerating. Because you know what it's like? It's like that time, like when they do the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame stuff, which I don't like. Actually, you know what? Let me tell you what it's like. It was like when George Harrison had passed away. This is one of the most, I'm going to bring this tugboat to shore. But this is what to me it feels like. It's like when George Harrison passed away. And then they had Tom Petty and George Harrison's son. And, and you know, the, Paul McGuire, they had all these amazing guitarists up on stage. These, you know, iconic rock stars. And Prince gets up on stage and is playing the solo for While My Guitar Gently Weeps. And it is one of the most amazing things I've ever seen in my life. Even though, even if you're watching it on your phone, you felt like you were right there. I've never, I mean, oh my gosh. And everybody got chills because all these people were on stage at the same time doing this. It's like when you see a super group, right? It's like when, when it's like when I, I, I saw, uh, I think it was Ian Asbury and Brian Johnson, like, you know, fist bump on stage or hug on stage. I was like, oh my gosh, it's kind of nuts, right? It's the same thing. That election is done if that happens. Literally, that's, I don't even think they need to say anything. I think they just need to walk up and be like, hi. And that's, it. that's why the media is baiting us so bad. That is why. Do not fall into this trap, please, for the love of all things holy. Holy.